Coming up in just a couple of hours, a film honoring one of Augusta's brightest stars. A huge welcome to Sharon Jones <laughs> and the Dap King. Woo! Woo! That documentary, Miss Sharon Jones, will be screened tonight at the Imperial Theater at 8 o'clock. It's all part of the Westaboo Festival. And Richard got the chance to sit down, talk with Sharon this uh, week. But today we got some heart wrenching news, Richard, that she won't be able to be there tonight. Sharon Jones is in the hospital, I'm sad to say. She was feeling dizzy this morning, went to the ER, and they admitted her to the hospital just this afternoon. So all this is brand new. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a red carpet in place here in front of the Imperial Theater. Sharon was supposed to walk down that red carpet tonight. Sadly, that will not happen. And remember, she went to a lot of effort just to be in town tonight to see this movie with all of us. Oh, man, I'm glad to be home. I bet you are. Long day, huh? Yeah, yeah, long day, but I wish I was in here longer. I'm right back out again Sunday, so. Uh, but, you know, I, I got to gotta go to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rare weekend off the road for Sharon Jones, and she couldn't be happier. Well, I know you love New York, but you love home, too. <laughs> I love New York for 53 years. That's why I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be home more, but her medical team is in New York. She just had her latest round of chemo this week before hopping on a plane and ending up with us on this dock. The last few days was pretty hard because the pain is from here and all the way around. So when I go get the, the air in my lungs, I can't get that much air and it hurts. So then I panic. <laughs> but the stage is therapy. She spent the summer touring with Hall and Oates before canceling her own European tour because of the cancer treatments. I was like, oh, we love you. Don't worry. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Take your time and come on back. You'll get back to her. I'll get back to her. One thing she would not skip or even delay even, even is coming job, home for this. Please welcome back Sharon Jones and the Dap King. The documentary film that bears her name already opened in theaters across the country, but she wanted it here. I had to make sure it showed here in Augusta, and I was like, you're going to get it in Augusta, because it's, it's like, it's my home, and I want the people to see. What we get to see is Sharon Jones, unfiltered and honest. And I got angry, and um, I'm not going to tell you why I got angry. You see it, then you'll know why. And I cursed. I said a few bad words up in there. But by the time she saw it, the film was finished. So what you see is what you get. Sick. Wait till you see it. I mean, no makeup, barely making it. That's who I am. I don't want to walk 24-7 like I'm a star walking down the street. You look at me now. I ain't put no makeup. I ain't need no makeup. <laughs> this is me. You, if you're going to see me, you're going to see me looking like this. You want to see me looking cute and makeup on? I'll be on stage on TV. <laughs> She's a long way from any stage sitting here, but music is always with her and always finding its way into our conversation. Left my home in North Augusta mm. at the age of three. <laughs> my mother, two brothers, three sisters, and me. I don't need your promises. I don't need your lies. How does Sharon Jones want to be remembered? With her music and maybe with a plaque next to a tree somewhere in her hometown. But don't ask her about any bucket list. I don't, you know what? I was scared to get a bucket list <laughs> because you might finish and then, then I think I'm going to die. <laughs> but for now, dying will have to wait. Here's to being home. Yeah. Here's to beating cancer. Right. Here's to Miss Sharon Jones. Well, thank you. Ah. Cheers. The show must go on. This movie is about great music, to be sure, but Sharon also wanted it to be an inspiration for all those men and women fighting cancer. They're also an inspiration to her, Laura. She wears the bracelets that her fans give her. Man, what an inspirational lady and such a fighter. But again, we're hearing she is in the hospital and she is still checked into the hospital tonight, correct? That's absolutely right. She'll probably spend the night in the hospital tonight. They were giving her fluids today. She just had chemotherapy on Wednesday, so and then traveled, uh, you know, on yeah. a jet here. Right. So it's really no surprise. And she's 60 years old, fighting cancer, fighting hard. Next week, Laura, she's supposed to be at the White House <laughs> performing with the Dap Kings. This woman does not want to slow down. She doesn't know how to slow down. That's why I know this has got to be so tough for her. But we are wishing her the best. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Richard.